And it might almost be finished, guys, that being one of the most notorious, I would say the biggest case ever in esports in terms of lawsuits between an esports organization and a top esports slash gaming personality. That, of course, being FaZe Clan versus Turner Tenney or Tifu, as I'm sure many of you guys know his name, now apparently rushing settlements or apparently asking for summary judgments on the New York case. It is now very clear, brought to us by Richard Lewis. I'll link his great article down below for all of you. There's a clear advantage when it comes to the California lawsuit in favor of Tifu based off the Talent Agency Act, which we have talked about in the past as well. Apparently, FaZe Clan not having the proper licensing as a talent agency uh, to procure all the things they did for a guy like Turner. Now, when it comes to the New York case, though, uh, both sides have actually asked for summary judgments, which could be done as soon as the end of this month. It could be extended, though, uh, weeks past that date as well, but it could be done, nonetheless, a lot faster than we expected. Tifu does have favor so far in the California case, so it seems when it comes to New York, though, it's certainly a bit back and forth. A quick summary for you guys of, of both sides here as well. I'm no legal advocate. Many of you guys know that. But based off opinions, this could get a little spicy, especially amidst all the things we have talked about. All of this going on in Tifu and Banks have not stopped hanging out or partying together, but still, they are suing each other for likely millions of dollars. So in the New York case, on the FaZe Clan side, what they're trying to argue is they gave Tifu his entire career because of the bolstering of his social media profile and following ever since he joined FaZe Clan. That same following they call before he even joined FaZe Clan as meager, and then they bolstered him up, and of course, the reason why he has millions of followers across all of his social media platforms and is raking in so much money and recognition is because of the help of FaZe Clan. Before FaZe Clan, he simply could not do that. They're also trying to argue and dispute the biggest side of things, that being the Talent Agency Act over in California should not be in place because most of the time the way they went about trying to get things for Turner, it was not in the state of California. Very lastly, trying to argue that it was actually Tifu who breached his contract because he retained 100% of his in-game earnings. This referring to his Fortnite creator code, which we all know he likely made millions and millions of dollars so far from, and he actually kept all 100% despite his contract saying that the organization gets a 50-50 split of those in-game earnings. When it goes to Tifu's side of things, it's a bit different. As he still claims that FaZe Clan, they breached the contract by not paying him his monthly salary of $2,000 for several months, also not giving him proper notice to when his contract automatically renewed. If you guys remember the original case about this, yes, Tifu's starter contract was not that good. After a set amount of time, it was set to auto-renew, and that's, thus he was kind of felt locked in by that auto renewed contract which he did apparently sign into uh, apparently here they are going to try to argue though that phase clan had to give him proper notice as to when that auto renewal was going to start very lastly as well when it comes to Tifu side of things and what they're trying to argue is the trade secrets. FaZe Clan claims that Tifu is now using and borderline stealing all the trade secrets that they taught him although Tifu and Turner's side um, is trying to argue these are not trade secrets these are very public, very apparent things that are not even close to equating to a trade secret and have also been revealed on several public videos by FaZe Clan members. Despite all of this, guys, a crazy, crazy case. That's the very, very quick summary. Richard Lewis's piece will be down below. It seems Turner has a probability of winning the case in California. The New York case could be back and forth and could be done as soon as the end of this month, if not um, a bit later than that as well. Amidst all of this, though, we certainly have other FaZe members, not just Tifu. We also have Cloaksy, and now latest, it's actually going to be FaZe Blaze also coming out about some contractual issues they've had with FaZe Clan. Of course, it's Cloaksy, still a restricted free agent. No one has approached him. Not not even 100 Thieves. We got to imagine his buyout is very, very high. And then Blaziken or Blaze didn't really give much of a of an actual explanation, but he said he was locked into a pretty crappy contract until recent times when he was told he has now been kicked out or removed from the newest phase house, which we also broke down on this channel. Certainly much back and forth, guys, and certainly not done yet. We will see, though, at the end of all of this, and I guess we can do a general poll. You guys can leave a comment down below. Who do you think will win this lawsuit? Tifu? or FaZe Clan. Until next time, stay safe, stay clean. I'll see you guys back here sometime soon.